Hey guys, Danny Boy here, and today I got the OnePlus 6 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I want to do a speed test comparison, see how these stack up against each other, and see which one is faster, and just which one feels better in daily use. So let's talk about that now. Okay guys, so today I got the OnePlus 6 here in the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, the OnePlus 6 came out in May of 2018. I believe the Note 8 came out in, I want to say, August of 2017. So... This phone is getting close to a year old. This phone's like a year and a half old. Now, I bought my Note 8 in February of 2018, and I daily drove it for four months until this phone came out. And then I daily drove this phone for four months. So, anyway... Um, I want to do a, a speed test comparison and just a general discussion on the speed of these phones. Now, the OnePlus 6 is sporting the Snapdragon 845, which was the flagship uh, Snapdragon processor for 2018. The Note 8, on the other hand, has the Snapdragon 835, which was the flagship for 2017. So, the reality is, is that both processors are great. Um, looking at the OnePlus 6 first, uh, I would say... It is the fastest Android phone I have ever had. And I've, that's talking Samsung phones, LG. I had a Nexus 6P. You know, I had a Motorola phone. I've had a lot of phones, okay. And personally, I just think that OnePlus um, has optimized their software let me unlock this here. So much so that it just feels lightning fast. Okay. That's just the way it is. And it's real, really a pleasure to use for sure. Um, now, part of that, I, I'm, I'm guessing, I think, is the fact that this phone only has a 1080p display. I think that's part of the reason why it feels considerably faster. There's less pixels uh, to be pushed around, which allows the phone to perform quicker. So the Galaxy Note 8 also feels really fast, okay? It, um, it's definitely up there as one of the fastest Android phones I've ever had. Definitely the fastest Samsung phone I've ever had. This is the first Samsung phone where I felt that it's comfortably fast. There's no lag. There's no major hiccups of any kind. It doesn't feel slow at all. It feels just right. It don't feel super fast like this phone, but it feels pretty good. Let me unlock it here. So, if we look quickly here, You can see, you know, it feels pretty fast, um, but not quite as fast as the OnePlus, okay? So, why don't we...
do some app launches here just to get an idea of what we're looking at here. And I don't want to, you know, both these phones have some of my information in them, so I don't want to go too crazy here, but let's just um, do some launches here. Okay, so why don't we launch some apps here and we'll see how they compare to some extent um, with the speed here. So I'll launch the Bible app um, here. Yeah, you can see the one plus six clearly won that, no question about it. Um, Let's see, let's do dictionary here. Again, the one plus six, no questions asked. Um, do Wikipedia. No, no internet on my one plus six right now, so that one really didn't work. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Play Store, let's do that. Would have been probably about the same. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, this doesn't require Internet Solid Explorer. There again, you can see the one plus six is is definitely faster. Okay, there's just no doubt about it. Um, going back to what I was saying about this phone here being a 1080p display versus this having a quad HD display, I keep my Note 8 on 1080p, and one of the reasons uh, that's good to do is it makes the phone feel faster. It's on 1080p right now. If you bump it up to Quad HD, it will slow down, in my opinion, slightly. That's what I've noticed. If you put it at 720p, it'll fly. It'll be coming close to the one plus six, I think. But, you know, the one plus six, you can't change uh, what you want your resolution for the display at. Samsung lets you do that. And that's a cool thing. Um, you know, obviously Quad HD looks the best, but in this particular case, because we're dealing with the Snapdragon 835, um, it doesn't quite make it, I mean, it, it's good, but it doesn't quite make it quite as fast as you would like. I mean, in car terms, you know, it's like a fast V6 versus, you know, a really fast V8. So, you know, that's a matter of personal preference. That's a matter of what you personally want, but that's my opinion on that. Uh, bottom line, both of these phones are, are perfectly fine for daily usage as far as speed goes. Again, the OnePlus 6 is the fastest Android phone I've ever had. I've not used the 6T. I'm sure it's probably even better. I think it has the Snapdragon 855. So it would definitely be significantly better. But, you know, all that being said, um, the Note 8 does feel plenty fast for daily usage, um, but it's not the fastest by any means. So I could definitely recommend either phone uh, for daily usage as far as speed goes. So that's my thoughts on these phones. Um, that's what I think about the speed. 
As always, if you're liking these videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if, you know, the like button would be nice too. Peace out.